Hi, this is JD with a new edition of weekly news spills. Martinez's unbelievable 123rd minute save kept Argentina's dream alive. Argentina goalkeeper made a 123rd minute save in the FIFA World Cup final against France to deny Rondel Colomani. The save proved to be crucial in Argentina's triumph. The Argentina versus France FIFA World Cup 2022 final turned out to be one of the most enthralling encounters ever. The Argentine team looked better side until Kylian Mbappe changed the course of the game with his twin strikes in the 80th and 81st minute. Argentines sing below balcony of visually impaired man so he can soak in atmosphere of World Cup win. Argentina fans all over the world are rejoicing after their captain and talisman Lionel Messi inspired the country to victory in the FIFA World Cup 36 years since their last ramp in 1986. A wholesome clip has surfaced online. Many Argentine fans are seen singing songs for a visually impaired man who is standing on his balcony with his wife so that he can feel the atmosphere of victory. World Cup homecoming brings Argentina to a halt. World Cup homecoming brings Argentina to a halt. As Argentina's national soccer team touched down in Buenos Aires on Tuesday after winning the World Cup, millions of Argentines flocked to greet the players. The government declared their homecoming a national holiday and the team began a 50-mile victory parade through the capital. The team toured the city on an open-top bus flanked by security guards and players were seen beating drums and sipping beer heroes, a local drink that combines Coca-Cola with Fairnet and Italian spirit, down from a cut-off plastic bottle. So many Argentines turned out to welcome the team, at least 4 million. According to local media, the parade was stopped early because the streets were overflowing with people. Some fans threw themselves off bridges to try to get into the open top bus carrying the players and one supporter died after falling from a monument downtown during celebration Sunday night. The tour ended with team members flying across the city in helicopters instead. The celebrations have been constant since Sunday when Argentina won its third World Cup title. The night of the victory, more than a million people streamed into Avenida 9 de Julio in the heart of the capital, chanting songs, blaring car horns and setting off fireworks. Here are scenes from what may be the biggest open-air party in Buenos Aires history. Lionel Messi's table dance with World Cup trophy in dressing room. Messi and his boys celebrating. And he can now add the World Cup to seven Ballon d'Or, four Champions Leagues, to Copa, uh, many Copa, Copa America titles, ten La Liga with Barcelona, and a League One with France. The Argentinian team ecstatic after their win. They have won the trophy after 36 long years. That is all for today. Thank you and goodbye for now. Stay blessed and see you in my next weekly episode.